All right, welcome to Show Business. It's a Friday. A lot has been happening in the area of political campaigning this week, and the creative industry has not been left out. The MPP's 2024 manifesto last weekend um, included several promises aimed at bolstering Ghana's creative industry, such as tax incentives to attract the private sector, investment from the private sector, visa policies to ease international access, and the development of a streaming platform for local content. How about that? Well, Kenneth Aotuda, co-culture journalist, joins me to discuss the dynamics and the impact on the economy, including uh, the ongoing Chalote uh, Street Art Festival. Can't believe it's open. It's been a year already. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon to you. So uh, let's begin with the MPP manifesto and uh, highlights as concerns the creative arts industry. How can the proposed tax incentives stimulate growth in the creative arts sector? So in the space, basically, one of the things, and it's not even just a creative space, one of the things that's basically affecting a lot of um, areas in the country in terms of business has to do with taxes. There have been numerous complaints about how skyrocketing these, you know, these levies are going and how it's affecting day-to-day -day activities. And that is how the creative industry is also coming in. There is, this has been one of the issues because um, for an industry such as this, usually um, they require a lot of logistics, they require a lot of you know, other services to be able to come together and make these creative words, you know, uh, creative activities come to life. And if taxes on these um, activities are going high day in, day out, you can only imagine the effect that it, have, it has on these businesses. And so that is why when um, the vice president and the MPP flag bearer made this you know, comment during that, that manifesto launch, you know, basically made some sort of um, impact in the creative space and you know is one thing that creatives would be excited about if actually implemented. So there was also talk about the e-visa and visa-free policies. Uh, talk to us about that. So collaboration in this creative space is very important like we talked about um, some weeks back. I mean to be able to collaborate with international bodies you would for instance you would need to do some of these international trips. You need to, um, to perform on different stages if you are an arts you know, a, a, a painter, for instance, you want to exhibit your, your wear outside, you need some of these um, permissions or permits to be able to fly out. And that is one thing that has been an issue because acquiring the visa to go out there, usually even though you have the, 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 the capacity in terms of finance to be able to, you know, make the trip, usually the impediment when it comes to visa travels becomes a very big issue. And so that is also another reason why when the, the vice president made that, made that particular statement, it, it, it brought a lot of attention in that particular area. And so creatives are hoping that some of these issues are you know, looked at as long as you know, the, the progress of the industry is concerned. And you can even look at some of there the- There you have it. Uh, yeah. Tourism in Ghana, the annual international arrivals, uh, talk us through. So this is the annual international travels, and then you can, as you can see, um, 2019 we saw some 1. Point, you know, um, 1.13 million, you know, um, dollars being made in that particular area. So you realize that it went down in 2020. You saw um, 300, 355,000, um, you know, people. That was traveled. drastic. Yes, that was a drop, and we all understand what, you know, what caused that because there was COVID, there were travel restrictions, amongst others. And so that is one other thing. And so in 2021, we saw a rise in, you know, international arrivals at the Kotoka International Airport. It went up in 2022, you know, we saw 914,000. And in 2023, 1.14 million. Exactly. That's like a recovery. Exactly. So um, we, we understand that there is some progress being made. And the government has said that it has put in place some measures to ensure that this kind of figures sees an increase this specific year. So we are hoping that some of these issues are not left just on the, you know, on the drawing board as we are talking about, but actually implemented if, you know, these, you know, um, parties are giving the, the nod. Oh, interesting in. stuff there. Uh, but let's talk about local streaming because it's uh, something that the Vice President, MPP Flag Bearer also mentioned. What do you have to say about that? So it has become a big issue now in the creative space because once you're aware is not, or your, your product is not online as a creative, you are losing out big time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of creatives are trying to take advantage of that field. But unfortunately, some of these streaming platforms when it comes to film or music have very international you know, standards that are usually very difficult to meet in terms of the local logistics. And this comes down to funding of the creatives themselves. And so the fact that the party is proposing that when it is given the knowledge, it's going to create some of these frameworks to be able to ensure that 
create it locally, have their, their products online as well. It's something that is also being loaded by, by the, the, the space itself. And so you realize that all of these things have a certain contribution to the, the creative economy and to tourism as a whole. That is why it's important that we talk about the revenue that has been generated you know, over the past few years, let's start from 2019. This talks about the fact that some $3.31 billion um, dollars was raised in terms of revenue as of 2019. 2020, of course, COVID, so we understand what the trends are. It went down a bit, and it kept going up from there. Mm -hmm. Last year, 2023, it's, 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 it, we, we made, or the country made, $3.81 billion in, you know, tourism alone in terms of revenue as far as the creative industry is concerned. And it's also projected that $3.8 billion will be made at the end of this year as well. So these are all figures that you know, make you understand that it is very important for government to pay attention to the creative industry as well. And we are hoping that some of these things will you know, be followed through if you know, they are given the nod. We have also seen the former, the former, the former president, right. uh, John Dramani Mahama, also make certain pronouncements, even though they are launching a manifesto. This weekend. This weekend. It's interesting to hear what he has to say. Yes, about because he's also talked about the fact that as he's, well. yeah, he's also looking forward to you know, putting out some pronouncements in terms of building studios, recording studios and mm -hmm. film studios for creators as well, which has been also mentioned in the, the previous manifesto, the 2020 manifesto, the MPP also mentioned that they created the, the building of studios and also theaters. But the fact that we haven't seen much in terms of the materialization of those promises okay. is another issue. Well. And 3.8 billion, I mean, that's, that's some money. We could increase it as well. Um, I'm just going to that one minute. I just want to talk about uh, Chaluote because it's open in Accra, right? Yeah. And I was saying, I can't believe it's, it's been a year. But what are the highlights of this year's event? So this year, um, we have seen a lot of activity from Monday. And Joy Prime has covered that extensively. We've yeah. seen a lot of processions. We've seen some activities at the, the Osu Castle as well. Now, this weekend, going into Saturday and Sunday, even tonight, there's a lot of activities going on. But Saturday and Sunday are the big days. If you've been to Chalwat over the past few you know, um, um, years, you would understand that there's a lot of culture, rich culture on display during the street art festival, among others. And so that is something also to look forward to. If you don't have anything during this weekend, maybe you have to be there. And also, there's also going to be um, on September 14, there's also going to be the, the, the showbiz roundtable organized yes. by you know, I, I've the, seen the joint the promo already. Exactly. Uh, interesting conversation about our creative arts industry. Exactly. So they're going to be putting the experts together, elections. political heads. Country journalist Kenneth Aotridako, as always, a pleasure to talk to you. That's the marketplace. More news on our website, myjoyonline.com forward slash business. Uh, we'll see you same time next week.